I discovered the Mr. Money Mustache blog when I was still in high school, and within three months, I had read every single post he'd ever written. It was literally life-changing. And to this day, I still routinely send Mr. Money Mustache blog posts to friends of mine that are interested in learning about financial freedom. But while I think the Mr. Money Mustache blog is a great read, I know that not everybody else is going to read every single blog post like I did. That's why I'm creating this video, which is attempting to boil down the 500 plus Mr. Money Mustache blog posts into the five most powerful lessons. Let's go. If you asked random people what you need to reach financial freedom by 30 years old, like Mr. Money Mustache did, my guess is a common answer is that you would need a super high salary. But the truth is, you don't. That's because what really matters is frugality. While Mr. Money Mustache certainly earned a good salary in his working years, it wasn't the type of money that would allow most people to retire by 30 years old. Instead, Mr. Money Mustache was able to retire at 31 years old by biking almost everywhere, cooking for himself instead of eating out, and being his own barber. Obviously, when you reduce your expenses, you can save more for your retirement. But it's even better than that, because lower expenses also means you need way less money to retire in the first place. That's why Mr. Money Mustache was able to retire with less than a million dollars, while many other people would need several times that. You just won't get this perspective from so many other financial influencers, because they know that luxury gets easy eyeballs. But if you're serious about reaching financial freedom as fast as Mr. Money Mustache did, focus on frugality. Another incredibly important lesson I learned from Mr. Money Mustache is that you don't even have to be a great investor. In fact, Mr. Money Mustache has never recommended trying to beat the market. He's always championed a simple and low-cost investing approach. While others lose their savings in day trading, Mr. Money Mustache has always been a fan of low-cost index fund investing and taking advantage of big market corrections. What this should teach you is that you don't have to get desperate with your money to retire early. Financial freedom is within your reach using tried and true investment approaches. Now, you can learn a lot from Mr. Money Mustache on what to do with your money. But the lessons I learned from Mr. Money Mustache go so much deeper than that. See, a lot of people want to be rich, but fewer of these people think about what they actually want to do once they reach that milestone. And I'll be honest, I was one of those people. I was so caught up with pursuing wealth that I didn't actually think about what I wanted to do once I reached financial freedom. The great thing about the Mr. Money Mustache blog is that every single post was written after he'd already retired. If you're looking for some inspiration for life after retirement, look no further than Mr. Money Mustache. Since retiring, he spent his time being a dad, renovating houses, microbrewing, launching a community nonprofit, and, of course, blogging. Having this perspective really helped me evaluate my own values. I highly recommend that you take some time to clarify your own vision for the rest of your life. I think the reason so few people have this vision is that they forget that money is just a tool. Honestly, this was one of the most important lessons I learned from Mr. Money Mustache. Instead of prioritizing having more money, I could prioritize having more freedom. Money is just a means to an end. But so many people use their money to chase luxury that they forget what else money can buy. This is where Mr. Money Mustache was a huge role model for me. I'd never seen somebody prioritize freedom, leisure time, and relationships over wealth. I realized that instead of being stuck in a cubicle until my mid-60s, I could build the life that I really wanted. This lesson was extremely empowering, and it helped me take control over my own life. So, when I say that the Mr. Money Mustache blog was life-changing, I'm not kidding. But the final lesson I learned from Mr. Money Mustache is that it's not all about me. I can change more lives than just my own. See, Mr. Money Mustache didn't just introduce me to the financial independence retire early community. He also introduced me to another community, the effective altruism community. Mr. Money Mustache was the first to teach me that, while most people spend every penny they have on themselves, even small donations can literally save lives elsewhere in the world. Of course, Mr. Money Mustache didn't just teach me about the effective altruism movement. He also documented his own journey of giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to charity. 
This has been a massive source of inspiration for me. I now plan to give the vast majority of my wealth to organizations like GiveWell that make sure that charitable dollars go to the most impactful causes in the world. But even if you aren't saving lives through your donations, there's still more to life than just you. That's why my knowledge is free, and I've spent hundreds of hours on this YouTube channel and firemansblog.com trying to help people live better lives. It was the Mr. Money Mustache blog that inspired me to document my own journey, and at least as of right now, I haven't made a single penny from either of those. So even if you don't like, subscribe, or share this video, I'll keep making videos just like this one. That's because it's just so important to me to get this message out and share it with the world. I hope I've done a good job of capturing the most powerful lessons I've learned from Mr. Money Mustache. But even so, I still recommend that you read the Mr. Money Mustache blog for yourself. There is so much good information on the blog, but I couldn't possibly summarize it all in just one video, and different lessons might stand out to you. So I'll link his blog in the description in case you haven't read it already. Now, the reason Mr. Money Mustache is so important to the financial freedom community isn't just because of the lessons he shared. It's because he used his own story as proof that it was possible. I mean, I still constantly see misconceptions about early retirement, or people concerned that their early retirement won't last forever. And one of the most common targets of those concerns, complaints, and excuses is the 4% rule. The 4% rule is one of the foundational pillars of the early retirement community, and it's used as a quick rule of thumb to calculate how much you need to retire in the first place. What that means, though, is if the 4% rule doesn't work, your retirement might not either. That's why I dedicated an entire video just to go through the most common concerns and criticisms of the 4% rule, and you can find that video right here. I'm hoping that it settles the debate about the safety of the 4% rule and helps more people make informed financial decisions. Check it out next. I'll see you next time.